Uh, we were here at the Sydney Conference, Steve Richardson from over in Western Australia. Steve, so why did you come over for the conference? Oh, I think it's just great to catch up with your peers and we all use the same tools, we all do it in a different way, so you can always learn from others and it's just the networking and obviously the opportunity to uh, spend some time with Anne who I've had a bit of dialogue with over the years, which is fantastic. Yeah. So you've been, and you've been using the HBDI and Holbrand thing for some time. A little bit about your organisation? Um, I work for a company called Linebridge Australia. We sort of refer to ourselves as customer experience architects and we just find that the Herman methodology fits really well with our PRISM methodology and there's quite a good mapping to it. So um, a lot of people get con caught up. We use some of the professional firms. It's all about the process. Yeah. Because ours is all about that balance between the process and the people but also having the eye to strategy and then obviously a bit of green to make sure it works. So yeah, yeah. it's had a really good correlation and we often find it a very good tool to break open groups. We're often going into, you know, we've never delivered less than 20% productivity and you can't do that without forcing radical change on business. Yeah, yeah. And we just find the human thinking is a great way to do that without being threatening in any way to the people that you're asking to change. I liked you, in your presentation you gave uh, some really great examples of case studies. If you, if you had to pick one out that really stood out for you as an example of how you use whole brain thinking, what would it be? Oh, each one of them has its rewards. I suppose at one scale, working with those little 15 year old kids and helping them make career choices yeah, yeah. and improving their software was fun. But I suppose the most significant one was the permeance guys who were, used to work for me and they had this really good business, but they were so technically focused they couldn't see where their shortcomings were and just proved them that doing the profiling, understanding their gaps in the team, and just adding that one person to the team and putting the mediator in between two of the others has transformed their business and probably quadrupled the size in about two years. Yeah. That's fundamentally the only change they've made is adopting whole brain thinking. Because yeah, with that, there was a, I think the story you told was that they were very strong in one person. Yeah, well, being te technically you know, qualified, they're incredibly strong in blue, and I think the highest uh, C quadrant or red quadrant was 42. Right. So when you're making websites for school teachers, who's at the opposite end of the scale, the technology wasn't of interest to the school teachers, it was how does this thing work? So once we changed, or they changed the appearance of it, the teachers embraced it and now their client is now their greatest advocate and has got them several other significant jobs out of it. Yeah. So and after coming away from the conference, is, is there anything that now jumps out in your mind of anything you might be able to apply? Oh, I think whenever you do this, it always just refreshes you. And you, you sometimes, you, the longer you do, you tend to forget more than you remember. Right. So it's just encouraging, just seeing some of Anne's thoughts, Michael's thoughts, just stimulates you thinking a bit about, yeah, I could try some other approaches here. So yeah, and then just talking to other peers that are doing what you're doing in a different way and different approaches to delivering it. We took a lot around how do you get people to retain this knowledge. That's yeah. yeah. The biggest Have you got any to... next steps as to what you're going to be doing with whole brain thinking? Yeah, we think a huge opportunity in the contact centre space and the customer service space. So. We're now finding as people are competing and we're getting processes right, the only thing you've got left to compete with is, is the emotional intelligence, if you like, in the business. And Herman's the ideal tool for doing that. We've done a little bit of work with some of the utilities around recoveries right. in terms of why do people ring up to complain about their bill, what are the motivators, and very simple to see which of the quadrants they come from. And we've even taught complaint teams how to interpret emails as to the, the, the thinking preference of the writer right. and uh, got some classic cases of that. They want to show people examples and they have a completely different response mechanism. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the whole issue is as it was with uh, Wayne's work at TNZ, reducing the callbacks. Right. That's getting rid of that unnecessary demand which is causing cost. Yeah, and yeah. You know, the less effort you put the customer through, the more loyal they are typically. So uh, yeah. we're trying to address those sorts of things. So big opportunity, but it's just we're so busy at the moment, just trying to get, get the time to do more Herman stuff. Yeah, that's, so, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. right. All right, well, thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. All Thanks, the best. Thanks, Herman. Thank you so much. No, thanks, Eddie. Working a long time, for a long time with the whole brain model. Just a little bit of how you've used it in your organisation. Um, sure, I think for us it's been um, a long journey since 2004, since a, a number of our team became accredited and that was um, with the Australian Central Credit Union Heritage and, and through that we've been able to um, take the, the profile across the whole organisation and then start to embed it in our programs from a human resource development perspective. Um, and then um, in terms of planning and, and leadership activities as well, so in a, in a planning day or strategy activity. So quite across a number of, um, number of forums, if you like. Um, and then now we're sort of in a way starting that journey again through mm. the um, recent events in the most great So yeah, yeah. we've now yeah, got a great opportunity great. ahead of us to look at ways that we can re-energise and refresh um, human within our organisation because we've now got to double our size yeah. and so there's a lot of opportunity.
which is exciting. Yeah, I know uh, through uh, the guys in it, uh, the organisation, I, I got involved with the, the board. I, it would be interesting, I think, to hear a bit more about how you used it actually with that transition, and the, particularly with the board and how they applied uh, the whole brain thinking model. So I guess the, the board use it specifically more so for the vision and the purpose and our values and behaviours as well and also where did they want to see the, the credit union that would emerge, credit union go longer term and what kind of goals and strategy did they want to put in place. Um, then that cascades down into, for example, um, the People's Choice is going through refitting uh, all of its branches into a completely new and dynamic way uh, of doing business within the branch um, itself for our, for our members. And what we've done there is looked at it from a whole brain perspective as well, uh, so that um, staff understand that there's a technology part of the, the branch for those blue people, mm. there's coffee machines and, and seats, etc., for that community red, red um, feel, there is um, uh, drawing um, areas for kids, right. um, and you know. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's so, so even down to how the how our branches are put together on a physical uh, way, we use the whole bank thinking as well. Fantastic. Mm. And because the, the cultures, the very two, they were two very different organisations with very different backgrounds. So if you had to use the model, how would you describe the two cultures, and how did you then use the model to sort of bring the cultures together? Well, I guess um, being credit unions, there are some similarities between what the two cultures have. But what HBDI has allowed us to do is, well, when teams come together, and generally that's been on a short period of time, is to understand how their colleagues think. Uh, to understand also, in a more general and holistic way, of how the two different organisations differ in the way they've gone about their business. So I know in some regards, uh, um, in the organisation, uh, savings and loans heritage had been kind of seen as a family orientated culture I guess where Australian Central Heritage was seen on a more professional so there's that right brain and that left brain yeah, way yeah, yeah. and what HBDI has allowed us to do is to bring those two together and explain to people what those differences are but also where they can connect and why um, uh, the organisation is making the decisions well, I've always seen, particularly with my background at ACC, I've always seen it's quite a, a progressive organisation in, the, in their l and space. How have you found merging the whole brand thinking with other tools and other models that you've had within the organisation? It's certainly been really um, well received within our team, so that's been great because we've taken the opportunity to get some additional team members accredited already. So yeah, that, um, yeah. And I guess as part of the integration process, one of the first priorities was our new board and our new senior leadership group to all go through um, the profiling. So, right. um, and it was an opportunity for people to start from fresh and all get on board so we do have that common language. So for us, it's, it's something that's there that now represents a great opportunity for us to move forward with. And we're really passionate about finding our new way and our new place as People's Choice Credit Union and this is something that can help us move forward. So. Yeah, that's great. So out of today, is there anything, uh, any one thing that really struck home to you? Was there a, an aha moment, a great learning, do you think? I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, you definitely are. are. Uh, I think um, um, with what Michael was talking about, attention, um, it, a lot of businesses, and certainly ours, certainly uh, from a corporate perspective, uh, have an open plan. And uh, it's about focusing and, and having that right attention where it's easily to be distracted and thinking that you've got to do multiple things at the, the same time mm. is to get the most efficiency and the most productivity is to focus on the one thing. Yeah, great. And was there any specific takeaways? There was a, a lot of material handed out. Was there any takeaways that you thought, oh, when we get back, this will be something we can really start to look at using through the organisation? Oh, I love the trifold only because I like the quick reference. So just right, like I like yeah, the desk yeah. flip as yeah, well. Those yeah. things that are quick and easy to grab that you can pull something from or refresh yourself um, with are really, I find those types of things really useful. So, yeah. um, you know, I, I, I certainly found myself writing down some just some one-liners here and there that I found really a bit of an aha moment, if you like, and that mm. the concept of, you know, finding the meaning in things and, yeah. and for us being in um, learning development around how we make sure that we're clear on our message and what is the most important aspect of what we get across and then how we do that effectively in those compressed time frames from picking up on what Anne was talking about. Yeah, so yeah. There's, I think there's a lot of, we've, because we're at a good space in terms of having um, an opportunity to redo things um, and we're bigger and, and we've got more resources now. So it's, 
it's quite exciting and inspiring from that perspective because yeah. we have an opportunity to really move forward Roll it out, and, and, keep and, and, on. And, yeah. and hopefully, you know, lead by example, certainly in our industry. So that's, that's the plan. Yeah, we're doing an amazing job in South Australia, so thank you for being thank part you, of it. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Will. Thanks, Alan.